probably clicked on this video because your truck has a CP4. If you don't know if your truck has a CP4, I'm gonna throw a list of trucks on the screen that have a CP4. I have had two trucks with a CP4, a 2011 6 7 Power Stroke, and my current truck, the 2017 F250 6.7 Power Stroke. Both my trucks, by the way, have had over 200,000 miles on them. What I'm about to tell you guys is everything I've done to both these trucks to prolong the life of my CP4. Now, if you don't know, you may ask, what is a CP4 and why are we trying to extend the life of it? Well, the Bosch CP4 pump is a high pressure fuel pump or injection pump that was introduced in the 2011 Power Stroke and GM Duramax Motors. The CP4 was Bosch's upgraded version of the extremely reliable CP3 pump. Despite Bosch trying to make the CP4 an upgrade from the CP3, unfortunately, it was actually a downgrade. And that downgrade comes with extremely expensive repair bills and usually a grenaded motor. Why does the CP4 fail? The most common failure in a CP4 is due to lack of lubrication in the diesel fuel. Since the CP4 uses the diesel fuel to lubricate itself, when you have lack of lubrication in the diesel fuel, it makes metal shavings. Those metal shavings eventually make their way into the fuel system, and then it makes their way into the engine, and your engine's junk, and your fuel system's junk, and you just cost yourself a lot of money. That is the main reason why CP4s fail. It may also fail due to air bubbles inside the housing. That once again would lead to metal on metal, which would cause shavings, or it could possibly cause a lifter to rotate. If a lifter does rotate, since there is no mechanical lock to keep it orientated in the right way it's supposed to be, it will cut into the main shaft, causing metal on metal, which will cause the shavings, which will cause the catastrophic failure. So basically what I'm trying to tell you guys is the CP4 is a troublesome pump compared to the CP3. Enough talking about this catastrophic failure. I think it's time we talk about how we could prevent it. Starting off with tip number one, this is something I live by in my diesel truck. Don't ever let your tank get below a quarter. Rarely do I ever let this truck get below a quarter tank. If I do, it is because there is no diesel stations nearby. Now you may ask yourself, why would I not want to let my truck get below a quarter tank? Well, let's go back to what we just talked about. CP4 uses diesel fuel as lubrication. What happens when you don't have a lot of fuel in your tank? There's not not a lot of lubrication for your CP4. What happens when there's not a lot of lubrication for your CP4? It gets hot, there's friction, there's metal shavings, and there's catastrophic failure. Try your best to not let your fuel tank get below a quarter tank. I promise you guys it will prolong the life of your CP4 way more than you'd expect. Tip number two is use high volume fuel stations. What do I mean by that? Is use fuel stations that you know are pushing out a lot of fuel on a daily basis. Some of you guys may call me, but I get majority of my diesel fuel from Sam's Club. And why do I do that? It's because I know Sam's Club's gas station is always packed to people getting fuel whether it be regular unleaded or diesel they are going through thousands of gallons of fuel a day so i know the fuel that is in the tank that i am pumping into my truck is always going to be fresh fuel you want that fresh fuel because it gives it less time to get contaminated less time to go bad which is overall better to pump at a high volume station i try my best to avoid small town gas stations that don't go through a lot of fuel because there's not a lot of people living there it's because i don't know how long that diesel's been sitting in that tank and i don't know whether or not it's going to be a high quality fuel tip number three if you guys are pumping at a station and the pump is going extremely slow i'm sure a lot of you know that means that the tank is probably getting pretty low if i ever start pumping diesel in this truck and the tank is moving slow i immediately cut it off and go to a different station now why would you think i do that and what happens is you're pumping all this gunk all this junk whatever's at the bottom of the tank you're pumping it into your truck's fuel system which is going to go through your cp4 which will go through your fuel system which will go through your motor and that can lead to failure so if a pump is ever pumping slow i cut it off right there and head to the next gas station just to play it safe for a new motor and fuel system costs close to eighteen thousand dollars. i don't want to take my chances on to tip number four, change your damn fuel filters, guys. Now, it seems obvious, like you'd think you just like know to change your fuel filters, but there's a lot of people out there that have CP4 issues that don't regularly change the fuel filters, and it blows my mind. Fuel is the main thing that causes these pumps to go down, and you guys are not changing the easiest thing on these trucks to change, which would be the fuel filters. Now, I may do it a little excessive. Every time I get my oil changed, I also have my fuel filters changed. Yes, it costs extra money to change your fuel filters when you change your oil, but it is just a peace of mind, guys. It is cheap insurance. I could probably get away with changing my fuel filters every every other oil change, but I just don't want to take that chance. It's cheap enough for me to change the fuel filters out every time I change the oil. And it's been working for me for two trucks so far, so why change it up? But seriously guys, if you're watching this and you haven't changed your fuel filters in a while, what are you doing? Please change those fuel filters. Like I said, do it at least every other oil change, if not every oil change. It's really up to your discretion. Last but not least, tip number five, on some diesel treatment, every single time you fill your truck up. I run Hot Shot Secret Everyday Diesel Treatment. It is a six in one fuel booster. This little bottle is about 18, 19 bucks, treats up to 400 gallons, depending upon how you use it. And one of my favorite things about this is it is so easy to use with the squeeze bottle. If your measurement's here, half ounce, one ounce. Flip it over to the back here and it has your treatment plan. It tells you exactly how much you need to add for how much fuel you're putting in. Premium dose, you're putting in one ounce and one ounce treats 25 gallons. For a performance dose, which I run, it is two ounces for every 25 gallons. It doesn't get easier than this to use fuel treatment, guys. 
Hot Shot Secret increases the lubrication of your fuel up to 26%, cleans your injectors, prevents rust from forming inside the fuel system, displaces water, and stabilizes diesel for long-term storage. $19, you cannot beat the peace of mind this stuff gives you. There are a million other diesel treatments out there from just about every brand you can imagine. Personally, I run Hot Shots because it was one of the most raved about fuel treatments in the 6.7 Power Stroke groups when I got my first 6.7. I've just ran it ever since, never had an issue, never had a reason to change up. But do your own research, guys. There are so many companies out there making great diesel fuel treatments. You gotta find the one that's fit best for your needs. But diesel fuel treatment is a must for me every single fill up, especially when I'm on a road trip and I have to fill up at a station that I'm unsure of. Just gives you a little peace of mind that you're gonna have that extra lubrication and protection on your CP4 pump. Anyone that runs this stuff and has gotten on their hands would know this stuff is extremely slippery. I do not doubt the 26% lubrication by any means. Those are gonna be my five tips for extending the life of your CP4 pump. If you guys have any other way to extend the life of your CP4 that I missed, do not be afraid to drop them in the comment section below. If you guys found today's video helpful in any way, shape, or form, make sure to drop a huge thumbs up for me on the like button. If you guys are new here or you've been watching for a while and you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Aye. Peace out. Yeah. Look, I know I'm top five. This gon' make the block ride. Caught them on the back street. Gotta tell them bye-bye. They don't want no...